Hello everyone, it's Tail here, and I'm embarking once more on a brand new Rise of Flight career with Pat Wilson's Campaign Generator. Um, thank you everybody for your suggestions on what I should choose. Um, lots of good suggestions, and I will probably eventually end up doing most, if not all of them. Um, but I have made my choice, so let's get to it. I am going to start a career with a new Air Force a new nationality, and that nationality is going to be... French! I'm going to be a French man defending my homeland. My name shall be Pierre Le Poisson. There we go. Pierre the Fish. I'm going to begin my career in April 1917, which, if you're um, educated about these things, you should know, is uh, famous as being Bloody April. Um, took place at the time of the Battle of Arras and um, well, I think a Battle of Nivelle, I think, or Nivelle Offensive, or uh, my uh, French pronunciation is shit, so I'm just get that out of the way. Um, but yep, yeah, famous for being a particularly tough time for um, British um, or uh, Allied rather observers. They were destroyed, got their asses handed to them because they were flying out of date aircraft against well-trained um, Germans in albatrosses. Um, now, as for the squadron, I'm going to skip uh, with the top selection here. Uh, Escadril, Esca uh, I'm just going to say Escadril. Uh, Spa, SPA-3. Um, this, uh, this squadron has quite a famous squadron leader, so let's get to it, create campaign. And the squadron leader is uh, I don't even... Uh, how do you pronounce this in French? Um, Georges? I don't know. Um, Guy Namer, Mr. Guy Namer. He's a famous French ace. I don't know too much about him. I did a quick read of his Wikipedia page, so I know he eventually went missing in September 1917 on a, a patrol, never to return, and his body was never found. Um, but yeah, famous French ace. At the moment he has 35 victories, I guess. Um, I think from memory he'll end up with over 50, as long as he survives, I suppose, in this timeline. Um, so I have um, a great pilot to look up to as my commanding officer. Let's uh, do a bit of configuration. I will set air density to medium. I'll keep the rest on low. Accept. And um, what else can we change here? Uh, of course. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Maximum pilot injury for death. Um, everything else should be pretty good. Uh, mission image use French MGs. No, that's good. Mission spacing. I don't want it to be spaced out too much. Max additional. That's in January, isn't it? I'll set it to four, four, four. Four, four. There we go. So we're going to be having missions um, most days. Weather, we can leave that alone. And accept. Excellent. So what do we need to do? We can look at um, intelligence. Here are the opposing squadrons. Some friendly squadrons. So we're surrounded by Frenchies, which is fine. Friendly Keeper Snell, of course. Mr. Guy Namer. And then some other names which you may know. Enemy key personnel. I guess the most famous, or for me at least, is Ernst Udet or Uday, however he pronounced it. There we go. Let's take a look at the Intel map. Where are we based? We are here. Where is here? It is near to. What well, is that? Reims? Yeah, that's Reims. So, the. Let's see. The Battle of Arras. Arras is, where is it? It's right on the front line. I, had a, I spent ages trying to find this on this map. It's not an easy map to read. Uh, shit, where, where did it go? Fucking hell. It was on the river. Oh God. I thought I had remembered where it was. 
Is it? No. Yeah, there it is. Arras. There it is. Good. So that's uh, Arras. That's what the British um, battle was all about. Um, and the French offensive was against San Quentin, which is somewhere around here somewhere. Um, and then we're based down here. So not really near where the main offensive is taking place, but I guess that's okay. We've got our own job to do. Um, keep up the pressure all across the front. So that's where we're operating. Um, and this, I suppose, is me. Is that my picture? Must be. I've got a wonderful moustache. Right then, so let's get on with it. Let's create a mission for ourselves. I don't know which plane I'm going to be flying. Spads! Yes, excellent, that's what I wanted. We're in Spads. Um, escort our flight's location near Gwynicor. Accompany them until they cross our lines. So we're on escort duty today, three of us. We've got Jean-Luc Mito, Theophile Vasseur, and of course Pierre Le Poisson. Um, so it looks like we're only going as far as our lines and then turning back, which seems a bit weird. You thought we'd escort them all the way across. Unless maybe they're just um, photographing something around here. But then they're on our side of the lines. What, you, know, you photograph from the other side. I don't know. We're just going to escort them and see what happens. So good. Accept mission. Um, I'm going to be flying a SPAD. I don't have much um, experience with that aircraft. I think from reading the uh, something online, it's uh, it's an aircraft known for its speed rather than its maneuverability. So uh, I'm sure people below in the comments will give me lots of advice, um, which I will... Oh no, okay, I see it here. I, I completely missed this blue bit here. We're going to bomb something over here, right? Okay, um, yeah, I'm sure people give me tips and uh, advice, which I welcome. So uh, let's get on with it, shall we? I'll skip um, across to Rise of Flight and we'll begin. And here we are on the map. Um, so here we are. As you can see, I've got um, the map, a map mod enabled. Uh, Jimmy Blonde recommended it and somebody else recommended it to him. So thank you, so that's somebody else. I can't remember the name of the map mod because I've forgotten all about it, but um, here it is, so you can see more um, detail, river names, etc. So if we go up here to try and locate a RAS again, there's the Somme. Uh, it's somewhere along here. I don't understand why it's so difficult for me to find. Here we go, Arras. Now, there's a place called Vimy Ridge, which is a quite famous piece of land. I'm not sure exactly where it is, or whether it's even marked, but that was kind of what they were, one of the objectives. Uh, but can't seem to see it, unless I'm bl just being blind. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's concentrate on what we're doing. So we're going to be here, according to this, I've only got the flight plan out to here, and then back again. I'm not sure what the AI will do. Let's take a look at my bird, this is the SPAD. Um, I believe this is a plane you get for, f or one of the planes you get for free, if you get the game. Um, from the website. Uh, let's see here, try and find the skin. If it's a one for our squadron. Ah, oh, here we go. It's, took, it's picked it for me. That's nice. With a symbol of the escadrille on the fuselage. Oh, yes. There we go. That goose. We've got a goose on our fuselage. And we have some other little things here. Let's choose the scarf. I'm going to go with the yellow scarf today. With a... We'll have a, just a plain blue streamer. Then here's some facts. Bad facts. Let's see. Uh, is there any, are there any tips here which can help me in my quest to survive? Not really. Oh well. Um, I'm going to use a Le Chrétien refractor type gun sight. Let's see how that does. And everything's, everything else will leave. Uh, gun sight convergence to 50 so we can get maximum effect at close quarters. I think this might only have one gun though, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, yeah, so that's that. I guess it's time to start. 
Let's do this. Do, do, do. Okay, take a look around. There are my two friends. Uh, one, whose names I've already forgotten. One of them I know is called Theophile. Let's see, got a fuel mix to play with here, so let's turn that up. And start the engine. So here's this gun sight. It's kind of a strange arrangement in terms of the uh, crosshair. We'll see how that goes. Cut the gun. So I guess that's Theophile um, right next to me and then the flight leader will be that guy just taking off. He's got a blue streamer as well. Shit, I should have picked a different streamer. Oh well, um, let's get going. Whoa, whoa. Wow, the rudder on this thing is feels pretty sensitive. And we're away. Nice. Vive la France! Okay, good. Um, so here's my cockpit. Visibility is not great. I feel like I'm in a boat rather than a plane. With this kind of plush interior. I might be able to turn the graphics settings up a bit now because uh, frame rates seem to be pretty good. Uh, we're not on the channel map, which is um, quite graphically intensive. So I might be able to improve the uh, graphic settings a bit. I have to do some experimenting, I suppose. May as well open the radiator, I think. Um, now, don't really have time to look check out the cockpit yet. I should probably have done that on the runway. So I'm trying to keep up with my friends here. Suppose we can take an outside view. Here I am. Can't seem to see my scarf. It's obscured by the spad. Which is unfortunate. Yep, that's me. Sorry, just hit the microphone. Uh, that's me on my ride, zooming about. Does feel quite nippy in terms of the speed. Uh, yes, and uh, don't have much more to say on the matter. These dials, I'm not sure what they are. I guess this is my altimeter right in front of me, and I suppose it's going to be in kilometers. Rather, or meters rather rather than feet. This may be a clock. And I've got some other things over here. RPM I think there in the middle. This could be speed. That thing I have no idea. Um, and we're just zooming along now on the way to the front so I suppose I shall cut here since there's nothing happening and come back um, if something does happen so I'll see you then oh uh, that was a bit unexpected my flight leader just dropped like a stone in front of me not sure why have we spotted something Still way behind our lines, so I thought it's unlikely we spotted anything naughty around about the place, but uh, I guess you never know. What are they doing? I'm going to keep my altitude up just in case. Okay, let's swing around a bit. There's a chase after them. So they seem to be back on course again. Uh, okay, that was odd. Oh well, never mind. Um, I'll continue onwards. The 
so it looks like we've met up with uh, the bombers. That's them there. Can't quite make out what they are yet. The French bombers, which I assume they are, then they could be uh, Breguets or Breguets, which is a type of French two-seater airplane which is in the game. Uh, let me check this out. I'll put the autopilot on and we'll um, see if we can spot them. Oh no, they're RAF, if these are the ones that... Uh, except these didn't have bombs. Well, how can they bomb anything if they're not bombers and they don't have bombs? Eh? These are strutters, I think. There's a balloon and there's us. So we're escorting some bombless bombers to not bomb something on the other side of the lines. Fair enough. Makes sense. Obviously there's been some kind of cock up somewhere. But, uh, I suppose we just have to live with it. Uh, frames. Frame rate has dropped a lot. I'm at uh, 17 frames for some reason. God damn it. I don't know why this happens. I've only recently noticed it. Um, some more fiddling with things in the settings I think will have to occur. Okay, well, I will cut here as we fly across the front and um, see if we meet any opposition. Okay, time for a quick update. We are now just on the other side of the lines, above this big river section thing. Where is this? guess this might be this thing here. The bombers, if you can call them that, are below me. Whoa, careful. Um, my friends were ahead of me, but I've now lost them. I'm going to try to identify where we were on the map. That ain't good. Uh, well, those are the bombers down there, so I guess as long as I see near them, I should be fine. Um, not had any contact yet. I did see a load of um, two-seaters flying above us, heading the opposite direction, which were German two-seaters. But they were too high for us, and of course our mission is to escort these guys in their fruitless quest to bomb absolutely nothing with nothing. Um, and that's it. Just a brief... Uh, Mention, I have mentioned in the past that um, I'm currently reading a book on the Battle of Arras and Bloody April. The book's called Bloody April. Um, and I learned in that book that actually escorting bombers was quite uncommon, certainly in the RFC during this time. What they did instead was send fighters out um, way behind the German lines to kind of uh, attack German fighters before they got a chance to um, reach the front lines and attack the observers or the two-seater aircraft um, but of course some planes did often slip through the net and get to the two-seaters and obviously uh, managed to inflict heavy casualties during that month um, but yeah what I'm doing right now is um, I suppose a historical I don't know if maybe the French did uh, do this more than the, the British did, I don't know. Uh, I think these two are my comrades up ahead here. I don't know where the bombers have gone. But uh, yeah, so far it's quite a routine, standard, um, dare I say, boring mission where nothing much happens. Yeah, so these are my friends and then these are the planes looks like they're on the way back from whatever they did over there which I expect is not very much and uh, our job is done so we're heading back as well screw you guys it's not our fault you didn't bring any explosives with you I've lost track of my friends again though this is what happens when you um, go looking for other planes in the external views 
hatchets. Where are they? They are over this squiggly bit here. Where is that? Oops. Somewhere over here. They are in the vicinity. But I've cocking well lost them, haven't I? Jesus Christ. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to fly home on my, my own if I don't uh, spot them. Where am I? It's a good question to ask. It should be around here, I think. And my base, whoops, my base is over here. Okay. That's fine. I can navigate my way home, it's no problem. Obviously it would be nice if I did it with the company of my friends. But no matter. Okay, nothing's happening. So I'm going to cut here and um, come back when I guess it's uh, landing time. Because I don't think there are any Germans around to shoot at. Oh well, never mind. At least I suppose it's a good introductory mission to the plane. And I don't die on the first mission, which is always important. Um, yep, so I'll come back um, in a jiffy. I've just been flying around. Oh look! Yes, okay. Something is happening. There is a battle going on down there between some planes. So I am going to join in with this battle. I've just been flying around hoping to spot something and um, luckily I have spotted something. So we will get some action. Don't know what that is over there. I think that might be an allied plane just below me right now. Oh, and then we've got these guys. Who are they? Are they the Strutters? Yes, they're the Strutters. And then a couple more guys over here. These might be the Germans. Lost a lot of altitude though, which is unfortunate. But I'm in a pretty fast plane, so I should be able to regain it fairly easily. Who are you, my little friend? Are you a German? I think you might be. Yes. I think that might be a Halberstadt. Okay, so we need to try and be um, sensible about this. Don't want to die on my first mission. So I don't want to come in right from behind him. I need to come in at an angle, do a slashing kind of attack and then zoom out again. There's another guy there attacking the first plane. Okay. I'm going to try and get kind of alongside him and then swoop across. I've only got one machine gun, so everything needs to count. Ah, okay, he's distracted by the second plane, so let's uh, seize our, our chance here. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, that wasn't good. Oh, shit. God damn it, sniper fucking AI observers. Well, 
I might need to fine tune the uh, sensitivity of uh, the joystick with this plane because it was definitely kind of rocking around there as I was trying to trying to aim. I think the rudder might be way too sensitive. Are you my friend? Who are you? I think you're my friend, aren't you? Do I risk another attempt here? I guess so. Aiming's going to be really even more difficult with uh, this blurred vision. And of course I'm coming in from behind, which is not what I should be doing. But they just seem to turn, well, quite sensibly, turn so that uh, you've got no choice what's coming from behind. Damn rudder. We hello. Some things appears to be falling to the ground. There's somebody's been shot and destroyed. It looks like. Hopefully not my little friend. Okay, this looks a bit more promising. Jesus. Try coming up from beneath. Uh, it's in the sun. I'm just spraying and praying, really. Which is not really too effective if you've only got one machine gun to uh, play with. Come on, come on. Doesn't it seem as though he's shooting back right now. Maybe the observer might be incapacitated. Nothing's behind me. Oh, okay, yeah, he is shooting back. I may give up on this and uh, head home. because the chances of me getting shot in the head are quite, quite high. Oh well. Um, it's a learning curve, you know, new plane. Got to learn how to handle it. Although I'm constantly learning, I never seem to really uh, get anywhere. I'm heading north, which um, is not where I want to be going. I want to be heading south going the wrong way. Okay, well, I'll skip ahead here then as I um, run home with my tail between my legs. I've been taught a lesson by sharpshooting observer with his mounted gun. Um, and I'll come back, I guess, when it's time to land or if I get into even more trouble. Okay, so I believe I've managed to locate my airfield and it's time to attempt a landing with this thing. Uh, let's see how we do. No blip switch with this thing, so it's either full throttle or, you know, just idling. But that should be fine. Didn't bother to check the wind direction, which is um, not ideal, but uh, I just want to land, really. Oh, I'm kind of landing on a hill. Okay. Whoa. Bouncy, bouncy. Nope, we're okay. 
We're kind of spinning around a bit, but we haven't flipped over, so that's good. Let's see if we can do a bit of taxiing. Kind of hard to see where I'm going with this blurred vision. But I guess that was must. Uh, what happens when you get shot? Your eyes just start to uh, fail for no reason whatsoever. This should do it. Engine off. And we're down. In one piece, kind of. I don't think there's any other damage on my plane at all, apart from me. So... Um, he was a very skillful observer, that guy. Very good shot. Um, I'm alone here. Let's see, are my friends still around? These guys are. And uh, I guess my other guys have either despawned or landed and despawned or whatever. And then we have two balloons. Okay. Isn't one enough? And it looks like they're two different types of balloon as well. That's strange. Uh, okay, well, that's that. End of mission one. Finish flight. And um, I guess we'll go back to um, the campaign generator and see what occurred. Here we are back in the generator. Let's... Uh, Head to combat report, victory is claimed, zero. Uh, submit report. Start debrief. We flew over here, then we flew back over here, and then we flew back again. Then I flew around here. I was damaged. <gasps> Theophile, no. Theophile Vasseur was destroyed by that DFW, or one of the DFWs. Um, and then Jean-Luc Mitto was also destroyed on landing, it seems. So was I the only one to survive from that mission? From our squadron? Possibly. Uh, debrief completed. Theophile was killed. I was injured. Um, but it looks like the other guy... ...was fine. Uh, so we've got to inform you that... Seuss Lieutenant Theophile Vasseur has been killed in action. Oh well, Theophile, I'm sorry. Uh, I've been injured, so I'll be unavailable for some weeks. Theophile gets um, a medal for his troubles. I get the medal as well. What's this? Insigni de Blesses. <clears throat> or Blesse, I guess. I guess that's a kind of a Purple Heart style medal. We have received Raymond Riffo into the squadron. News! <gasps> no! Ava Ball was killed today. Well, that's a historical. I'm pretty sure he wasn't killed on the 1st of April 1917. Because he's in this book I'm reading about the uh, about Bloody April. And he's, uh, he's not dead yet. I mean, past the 1st of April. So, um, but I guess that happens sometimes, you know. This isn't... This is generating it randomly, I suppose. So, a bit strange. Never mind. Um, Wilhelm Frankel was lost in action today. And France advances, so this will be the uh, Nivelle Offensive. And that's that. So, wow, it's now the 15th of May. We've completely missed bloody April. <laughs> well, I guess that uh, is lucky, I suppose, in a way, for my pilot's uh, health and well-being. Probably not so lucky for this um, career in terms of action. But I'm sure there'll still be plenty of action. But we've missed bloody April. Oh well, uh, that's what I get from um, attempting to attack um, a two-seater all by myself. Although I did have Mr. Um, Theophile with me who um, kicked the bucket. But yep, that's that. Um, so that's the first mission. It says I've got two. Don't know why. You shouldn't do that, but never mind. And, and that's all. So thank you very much for watching this. And I will see you for the next installment. Goodbye.